Uh, my name is Calvin Hazen. I'm a flamenco guitarist. Uh, I've been working professionally as such for over 30 years. I began studying uh, when I was quite young with my father. He was a jazz and blues guitarist. Um, that led to classes, um, different instructors, and one in particular who, with whom I was studying classical guitar um, ostensibly, and, and he had a, a a big fascination for flamenco and uh, put records on for me of, of Michael de Lucia and Rafael Riccani and, and the like, and, and then and that was all she wrote. I grew up in New Mexico and began playing there and began getting involved in dance accompaniment, dance classes, and uh, playing for dancers, and began gigging there in, in clubs and restaurants and whatnot and then small touring um, jobs uh, also out of the States. Um, when I finished college, I moved to Spain directly and um, kind of furthered my career there, really really uh, cut my teeth there, as it were, as a performer, as an artist, as a professional, uh, working in uh, some of the premier tableaus there in, in, in Madrid, uh, Corral de Moraria, Casa Patas, um, La Carbonera, Las Tablas, etc. Um, working with companies, traveling, touring uh, with professional companies and, uh, and the like. Uh, I'd say the most important lessons um, learned had to do with kind of on-the-job training and um, figuring out and understanding what the role of the flamenco guitarist is. It's, it's sort of a unique um, unique instrument in, in how it's, in, in, in its approach and its, uh, its function in, in, as, as an accompanist instrument in flamenco, um, as an expression that gets used in, in Spanish, which is to uh, llevar peso, which is, which is to carry weight. And that, um, that theory, that notion, that, um, that responsibility is something that you really have to take seriously and understand on a very fundamental level in order to be able to do this um, properly. Tips for other aspiring artists, uh, guitarists in this case, I would say uh, spend as much time as possible in, in Spain. Um, when I moved there, it, it was a different era for sure, and, and, and I lived and was able to work. Um, now, I would say it'd be much more difficult, but, but even still, uh, being exposed to uh, that level of, of performer and artist and professional and being around that and exposing yourself to that and being being involved in that as much as possible is really what um, what uh, develops you as an artist and a performer. Uh, to stay in shape during uh, this this sort of uh, trying time, uh, a lot of practice, a lot of a lot of work on technique. Uh, I also do a lot of cataloging and um, archiving, sort of studying of old. Old solos, old repertory of grandmasters, Sabicas, Manolo San Luca, Paco de Lucia, um, spending time working on those, working on pieces. These are, these are things that maybe when I'm performing a lot in, in more normal times, um, I don't have time to do necessarily. So uh, I really tried to take the opportunity and spend time on that. Flamenco is important to me. Um, I think early on when I, when I really uh, began to get involved and get, get um, get hooked uh, on it as a as an avenue of expression uh, is is the connection with other performers on, on stage um, you can have that with other musicians as well um, the connection with, with the dancer and the singer and that sort of relationship between um, the, the the different elements that from like go on stage is is really unique and really um, exhilarating uh, and that that's why I have uh, that's why I've uh, dedicate myself to this art form and it's why I still do it um, and that's why why it's important to me um, and I would say that's also why it might be important to the world today I mean given this prolonged period of um, very profound um, separation we've had from each other uh, as people as individuals um, I think maybe people might be hungry for that sort of connection and, and and seeing that in a live setting and being being there for that very intimate um, experience of being in a theater or performance space where that's going on, uh, I, I think can be can be really special. And I think it, it now is a pretty important time for that.